the worst. I am, but that's because you know we don't see each other. So, ask your question again, my nigga. <laughs> Because we're live on the podcast. We're live, okay. Who's the ugliest woman yeah. that you would fuck for money? Mine's just Leslie Jones. Dang, Leslie God. Jones is her name. That's what yes. I said. That's one you can't you can't take it. I already I'm already oh, you asked what her, her name was. I told you what her name was. Oh, another, I'm about to say another ugly one that you would Kev fuck said Kev, ugliest. Kev she's ugly as shit. Said. Ain't nothing you can do with her. Kev said he wants to fuck I got one better. the ugliest woman that looks closest to a man. <laughs> <laughs> he said ugly. You took it where you took it to a whole nother place. Exactly. I, I, you know, I fuck with Leslie Jones because she's funny, but you can't hit that. So would you think? Got, got got man like tendencies, bro. She's got like fate, fate, like she's got a strong fate. Has to be ugly. Yes. She's gotta be ugly. Nigga, that's ugly. You don't get no that's uglier ugly. than that. Now, what would your price be? So man. What would your price My be, price? man? Yeah, what would Let's your price here. be? Let's see here. I think if you dick. had the fucker, and you gotta I give her good dick, you can't give her no bullshit. You gotta go in. You gotta sweat. And, yeah, you got to put it in. Oh, you gotta, like you gotta make sure that you both have an organ. Yo, they, uh, and you I said <laughs> you gotta lock start that. Yeah, start that fifty million. <laughs> I start that fifty million, but to hear this nigga moan, hundred million, hear this nigga moan, you gotta get close to it. Hundred million. Uh, What's your price, bro? Goes off. I'm like, stay strong, niggas. Only a couple more pumps. We got a hundred million. Hit the gas station before you go there. What's your price? Hit the gas station. (laughs) A hundred million, bro. Yeah, listen. uh, You think your dick worth a hundred million? I think it's worth a hundred million. No, it's okay. not my dick being worth around a million. I mean, a hundred million worth the fuck her. Okay, okay. I respect it. Wait, who you got, Kev? Who you got? I don't know. I we'll y'all both thought out about that shit. The ugliest, the ugliest celebrity person. person. A person. <laughs> no, it's got it. She's no, got to be. Celebrity, yeah. celebrity, celebrity. Go ahead. Celebrities. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, dog. She got to be. I'm gonna go. blow y'all both out the water. I'm trying to think of an ugly celebrity that I actually. Uh, going through some opt. Yeah, going through some crazy ones. I'm trying to go through celebrities that I find unattractive because I don't even think about the unattractive ones. Oh, you got it. That's say. terrible. I'm trying to think. The fact that you said Leslie Mann, like I don't know how you Leslie Mann is a different I mean, Leslie Leslie Jones. And Leslie Jones is a man. Because I would, maybe because <laughs> I think we all would probably, you know. Leslie Man. Um listen. I don't know. I might have to come back to that. You might have to come no, back. No, see, nigga. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm see, really I told the nigga to get ready before we start the podcast. Yeah, this say, you just run. Come with a it's random me. question. How are you supposed to get ready for that? Was it random? <laughs> it wasn't random. <laughs> that shit was random. It wasn't random at oh. all, nigga. Precious is a good one because I'm looking at some comments. Precious is a good one. I forgot Whew. she existed. It's a good one because you definitely can't gotta... say anything precious is sexy. I said, I forgot she even existed. I thought you nigga, you said she's you sexy. You know damn well he ain't say that. <laughs> you know, damn, she, well, that's you. That's you. He said her naked in the room looked like a burnt, glazed up honey turkey. I mean, I would have said grimace, but okay. I would have <laughs> definitely yeah. said grimace. Um, oh, you go fuck, I don't. You I mean, precious. Well, no, you grimace. can't say precious. Hey, Somebody said that. I'm, what, y'all, what y'all think about Maya Angela? I don't know. Maybe we oh, go over <laughs> Young Whoopi girl work wasn't that ugly. Nah, bro. I mean, was, about, right? I mean, I mean Ted Dez didn't think so. Nah, bro. You would. I mean, only in that picture that we had a couple years ago that I would. Uh, I feel shit. like her voice is ashy as shit. It's like fucking Doc Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> Deeper. I would do Whoopi. <laughs> Whoopi. Whoopi would probably be uh, the worst for me. Bro, yo, like, hold on, I got one for y'all. Would y'all only for five hundred dollars? I mean, <laughs> Who is that? I don't Kev, know. Kev would rub baby oil on her belly for five hundred dollars. <laughs> I think that's a lie. <laughs> five, that's a quick five. I <laughs> saved my life. Shit. What's what's her name? Uh, <laughs> what's her name that looks like Big Bird? Um, big ass. Uh, she she met the man hit it for free. Um, <laughs> Angie Angie Stone? No, not Angie Stone, nigga. Uh, the radio host, uh, Wendy Renee. Williams. Wendy Williams. No. Would, y'all, would y'all fuck current Wendy Williams for money? Yeah, 
Yeah. And I would say my I'm yo, I'm I'm modest. All right, Wendy Williams. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm modest about my my dick. So probably like maybe 150,000 I think is the price I would take. And I yeah. Who for are you? Dick? Who yeah. is the ugliest celebrity you wouldn't fuck for money? Period. In your opinion, your ugliest celebrity you doesn't exist not fuck for doesn't, for doesn't exist. It doesn't exist for me because it's for money. So that's the incentive. Now, any, any, any I say Grace, Jones, Grace Jones was Grace Jones was, wasn't that was bad. Fire. She was fire. <laughs> Grace Jones. At one point, we need to know who that is. I that's can't, why. Oh, it's, maybe you can see it. We can't. Maybe you turn your privacy off. Yeah, turn your privates off. It's not the pri- it's because <laughs> niggas it's because niggas is commenting from the, the opinionated media page. Yo, y'all what can put that? your podcast. Yo, we we get we setting it up so y'all can put y'all podcast on the opinionated media page. So it's going to be a page where everybody listen. We want to get that page back cracking again. A page <laughs> where everybody could just share their their stuff. So yeah. if y'all want to do that? Yo, DM us. DM Kev. Yeah. DM yeah. me. Because yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about thinking about getting maybe five podcasts together, great podcasts, and helping y'all out with your podcast. Can can I step I in? Got here? The, yeah, I got the equipment. I don't what? Oh no, I was yes. I was gonna add to what you were saying. I was saying with Kev, with obviously he's not gonna be by himself, but with Kev doing that, um it'll work well because if all of us get each other to watch each other, meaning like if you have your fans and people that you're telling to watch your podcast on our channel, it works for everybody because now everybody's paying attention to the camera or excuse me, to the channel. And now we're all watching each other's stuff. So if y'all interested in that, man, let Kev know. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted yeah, to add. To it. Five. five for right now. If you're serious, really, I mean, legit serious, no bullshit and serious. I will come. On the weekends, <laughs> this yeah, fucking. I gotta make that shit clear. On the weekends, I will set up the equipment. Set up the equipment I got, which is good quality equipment, and help you with a podcast. But you got to be serious. I'm not taking somebody who's gonna do t- ten episodes and be out by episode ten. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a good idea, Kev. I think we got something. I, think I like that. Something. I like that. You know, I'm here to help with that. So. How many people are there? Wow. How many That's people? a lot of people. Yo, I'm talking Where about the it? people watching Kev ass. Like, mm, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica we Morrow. Talk- you don't know who Jess is. It's okay. You know who uh, Jess is. I know who Jess is. That's that, that's that's the one. That's the one y'all got mad when she, when we all went out for drinks and she ordered everybody shots and she kept ordering shots and then she bounced. <laughs> <laughs> she was no, no, no. crying. She was fucked up that night. No, yeah. we didn't even get mad. We just looked up like, where'd she go? <laughs> After ordering all this shit, it just rolled. And said, hey, I think, yo, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Jess that was funny. Mess. You know what's funny about every all this My shit? Dog. I just love how you two assholes escaped your answers. I said, I said, I what do y'all think not. about Maya Angelou? You will fuck Maya Angelou. How much would you fuck Maya Angelou for? I said a bean 50, and then I changed it because no $150? 150,000. And then I changed it. <laughs> you hear him? You hear him? You hear him? You hear him? Then I changed it Jay because just I was make- like. Just trying to pay his bills. That's all. That's it, y'all. I'm modest about my dick. See, I made. I said all this already. I'm modest. I'm modest. I know that this nigga talking about some. Uh, what you say? A hundred, hundred million. Your dick is not worth that much. <laughs> they gonna kick you out the bedroom after that bill coming. They gonna. Like, they were like, we know Drake coming for one fifty. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go Drake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have the price? <laughs> would you? Would you fuck current? How much would you fuck current Serena Williams? Because damn, what happened? For free. She doesn't oh, look wait, 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 hold on. I gotta see her. You said current. What it current. look like? What it look like? Oh man, she just don't look the same. It's like she's wearing too much makeup, and she Still don't look free. Still for free. She don't. I, I think something happened with her skin. I don't know what happened to her skin, but she's wearing too much makeup, and it just don't, just look, don't look right. Look what I'm saying for free because that ass turn, <laughs> and we all good. Drake gonna be singing this song. He gonna look at her. She coming in the room. He gonna. Like, Turn around every yep, little now, yep. Yep, and now and then, and then I get a little bit horny when you <laughs> turn around. Turn around. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> and then right after that, turn off the lights. <laughs> we both going to sleep. 
Yeah, that's what I hit fucking Lisa Jones with. Turn off the lights. No, I got one for y'all. I got one for y'all. <laughs> Leslie Rosie Jones. I said, what the fuck is Lisa? Rosie O'Donnell. Ooh, mm, that's Rosie interesting. O- How Rosie much? O'Donnell wear drawers with dick holes in them. With dick holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> Still the funniest line ever. Funny, funny. The they all laughed. So how much would your price be to hit that man? Can you imagine Kev taking her pants off and this bitch got some, she got some old school whitey tighties on? Oh yes, I can imagine. And thinking, just not even white, they like a little beige and shit. They, they look like they've been worn a lot. Yo, Rosie O'Donnell reminds me of John Goodman. Like, Oh my goodness. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not fucking John Goodman, dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not for 150000 It has to be a price tag on that. <laughs> Has to be a price okay. tag. I'm gonna see what she offering first. I need I need something around two hundred over two hundred k. Oh, Easy. I'm the cheap one. I'm the cheap. Yeah, one. look, yeah, yeah look. Right, Drake, Drake about cheap dick though. Right, she, yeah. go, she go like just stick it. She go like just stick it to the dick hole, Kev. <laughs> That that's gonna bump it up a lot. Don't leave her jaws on. She tell niggas stick it to the dick That is going to bump up I mean, the price. What's the difference in that? Moving the panties to the side, bro. Might as well just put you, put your dick in the dick hole. Put your dick, don't take your boxes off either. Just, just, just do two dick holes. <laughs> Oh man, the fact that you'd have to go in hard too makes it the p- hard part because you have to. Oh, you want to eat it? Get what you, you want. You to gotta have it. to enjoy it. That's what I'm saying, Kev. You about to, <sighs> you about to be eating the Jones. <laughs> I think Kev can do it though, because Kev, that nigga ain't got no discernment most of the time. Like you could definitely, you give Kev like the right amount of alcohol and the right amount of dick pills. I think that I think he's going to do it. I think it's right. She's just look, she just looks like she yeah. Leslie Jones is like she's fucking strong. It's like he tried to get playful to have sex with her. Tries it's like she's strong enough to fucking like, hey bitch, listen, I'm fucking she you. Fuck the shit out of, she might fuck the shit out of you too. And I'm not talking in a bad way. Maybe. Kev wake up. Kev wake up. He was incapacitated. He was she was choking his ass. He woke up. Huh? What happened? <laughs> now Kev gonna wake up spooning her. <laughs> That's what he gonna do. This is my new yo. He gonna walk around. He gonna bring her to the function. This is my new girl. Uh, you know, <laughs> she rough around the edges, but you know, she, she rough around the edges. But I love her. <laughs> we go. I met her at the same barber. Don't <laughs> 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 help. She be wearing that box all the time. Like she stretches her hair into a fucking box and she just look hard. Watch the fucking time. It was like God. Damn. Why? And you already know what you look like. Why would you, you put this box on? And you can't fry her. Nope. If oh, you try I'm... to fry her, you done, nigga. You done. Done. Ah, man, listen. Check null and void. Man, I'll fry wear, that old A1 dick. She gonna fry your dick right off. Nigga, you ain't even they go crazy. Comedy show. I don't care. Listen. <laughs> After inviting like, you there. <laughs> that bitch look like a orangutan with a box. Oh I don't give a fuck with you. Right. That motherfucker is ugly, man. man. All right. So now you're going to put her down. Yeah. She no, down. I don't care. You said ugly women. She, she's, I, man, she's cute to somebody. Her husband. Yeah, I don't know if she's married. Jesus, too, yeah, she's married to. What about Florida man. Evans? Oh, man. Florida <laughs> Evans. Yeah, James was hitting that every night for free. I don't know why, and sh- and struggling with her ass. Damn, damn, <laughs> damn. Yeah, that's bad. She he struggled with that motherfucker. Like he went through a struggle with her. Like he probably could have fucking like upgraded. She but, ain't working. She he struggled with her. You know what that mean? Oh man, that pussy was fire. Yeah, fire. you see the oatmeal. She had they that always, flow rider. That motherfucker was Uncle Ben, but she, her pussy was fire, bro. <laughs> She was, yeah, she was all of them. <laughs> and that's what you got to remember. Uh, if you bring fire pussies to the table, what you willing to put up? I'm just saying, Florida Kev, Evans. Kev giving Florida up Evans looked like she yes. just... Huh? <laughs> you, Thank God. If you... <laughs> I say, sweet, what? You gonna get the pink eye? You know that? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. That's crazy. We said that at the end of it, if oh. if you if you were hitting it and it was good pussy, 
you would give her a discount after it was over. Like, you know what? That shit was kind of good. I'm gonna take not a little, Florida I'm gonna, Evans, though. I'm gonna man. take Florida, something off the top for you. Now. <laughs> Florida, Florida <laughs> Evans look like she just escaped <laughs> slavery. <Half>. Like, <laughs> yeah, right into, you, right into your dick. <laughs> she, like, she just look like you she just escaped through the fucking underground railroad and shit. Like, you say you was the conductor of the train, nigga, on the underground railroad, and now you're together forever. Oh, yeah, no. Florida Evans. Yep. Let's get to the shit. Wheezy, is that Wheezy from? Why is that Wheezy from the Jeffersons? I could do Wheezy. I don't know. I'll probably be able to do that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. God, you, know. <laughs> you hear that voice? Too. You get the, she get the hit in the back, and she get the. Oh. I feel like a lot of them old bitches from the seventies was throwing that shit. We just don't know. Like that was their version of like the chicks with the chicks that's out now, like the ratchet chicks. <laughs> it was but the, see, it was he's got a seventies just throwing they shit in private. <laughs> but dog, you had to deal with the old seventies bush. I know that shit was oh. Mm. I, mean, I ain't going. I ain't gonna go into my personal life. I would tell y'all that I might mm. have to put up with that for mm. a good amount of years. And then, it, and then I'm good. Yeah, and then it, then it went away, which I'm glad. But I had to put up with that for like at least since before I got married. Now, like white women don't shave their pussy all the time. Don't, it, nigga, niggas want to claim that shit. Not all women shave their pussy. Listen, man, I'm I'm going down there no matter what. A, a, a clean a clean ball field is a ball field that's played on a lot. That's by a lot right. of people. That's nah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Favorite places to be. Yeah, I'm saying is I'm just saying they call man. Disney World the funnest place on earth. Yeah. Listen, if nope. she's shaving her pussy, I she, call Cap. <laughs> this nigga Cab crazy. Man. I'm just saying, man. It's, it's, listen, and the every field is one that's most played on. Yeah, he's crazy. It is. No, think of, <laughs> think crazy. about it. Yeah. Was, it you shave your your things are terrible. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. I know, when y'all. When you first start hitting that pussy shaved, ain't it? Think, just think back. I when know you what first... you're saying, and yes, you are correct. Yeah. When I first stumbled upon one, I'm like. And that person, it they were pretty. Fun. They were pretty busy. What if they were prepping for you? What I say? Typically, no. Exactly. Oh, because I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> I, wasn't supposed to. <laughs> I was pitching. <laughs> you wasn't supposed to be. A, you were standing in for somebody. Right. <laughs> so I was like, I was just a yeah. surprise. I was like, oh, okay. That nigga got bought. He got bought up from the minor leagues. <laughs> yeah, come on, hey, yo, up to the major yeah, leagues. Crazy, so I definitely got brought up. So, so, so before we get into our topic, damn, I had a good question, but I forgot it. I forgot as you just said that. I forgot. Fuck. You're damn. 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 I was gonna say the the worst. The the ah fuck. The. Go ahead, because I can't worst, even formulate it. The worst oh, pussy yeah. you ever got, you, Dre, you ever get oh, some rug burn pussy? No, that's a that's a corny topic. I don't ever want to talk about no, that. Because what, 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 what constitutes that? I was going to say the craziest place you had it, but that was going to be the stand in for what I originally forgot. I'm, I'm scrapping all that. that. Yeah, we definitely talked about it. I'm scrapping all that. Yeah. Scrapping it. Okay. It's, it's done. It's done. No more. Are you scrapping? Right. Stop. Right, stop. I'm joking. I'm joking. Go ahead. Want to get into the topic? Let's get into the topic, freak. All right, yeah. Kev has Kev got the video. He's gonna bring the topic up. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll bring the video up for y'all to show. Explain, y'all. nigga. You gotta explain uh, it, or just gonna play a video. Well, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna play it just yet. I mean, you know, you gotta prep the video, but basically, this video is um I was watching a video made by Derek Branch, and he posted something about this woman who gave a play by play pretty much a playbook on how a woman can steal another woman's man, because apparently the only good men are ones who are already taken. So we'll pull this up real quick and uh, we'll see, you know, we can see your messages. Now you can. How you like that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga got a message in grab loop. <laughs> I don't have any bad messages, so I don't have to worry about anything like good, that. Good, good. You know what I mean? Unlike Kev. Yeah. What's the Jay wildest West? DM y'all ever got? All right, I'm gonna leave that there. We're not, we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. 
<laughs> we not gonna talk. I, about I, I can only imagine some of the DMs people. Yeah, I remember one time. I was joking. Chick, no, I'm serious. I'm about to hit you with a story. I remember this time. One time, this chick got a DM from a dude and exposed her DM on fucking on the on the book at the time. That's normal. Yes. No, this nigga. She sent the nigga dick. Put the nigga dick pic on the fucking on her fucking timeline and then went in on it with like it was like a it was like a paragraph caption at the top if, like god damn if y'all dick get exposed on the internet are you proud or are you embarrassed yeah, that's proud. the real question right there buddy hey man listen he wasn't proud i'm shit, talking about she, y'all she said it she, she said no, i'll be proud I'm like <laughs> that's new that shit that's that hundred million dollar dick right there. Look at that! Look at that smooth shaft. <laughs> look at that smooth shaft. <laughs> this look, I'm trying to tell you, bro. bro. You, Trey, this will be your fault half the time, yo, bro. <laughs> if you ever look, I don't care what who dick it is. If you ever look and say, "Look at that smooth shaft," it's my you dick. should be jailed. <laughs> you it's should my be jailed dick. For I can life. say that. Because that's what they're gonna say when you go to jail. <laughs> that <smooth> shaft. <laughs> that's actually your nickname. <laughs> hey yo, I'm going with y'all. So we're gonna play this real quick and let y'all get a get a feel oh, for what you're talking about. We're not gonna play the whole nine minutes, but uh, nah, because this nigga voice give y'all an idea. Dad, Roll the tape. I'm gonna come across this article that says how to steal someone's boyfriend. No, guys, I went looking for the instructions and it was deleted, but I found it. This Twitter account, her name is Marie, and she made a 12-part instruction on how to steal someone's boyfriend. And I just got to read it for myself because we just talked about something like this. Okay, so it says how to steal someone's boyfriend, a thread. Everyone knows that all the good men are in a relationship. The available men are available because there's something wrong with them. Is that why women go after fucking married men? This is why y'all do that? That leaves you, a single woman, with a desire to start a family with only one option. Stealing someone else's boyfriend. What? We'll stop right there. Yeah, because I, I can't take that nigga no more. That nigga jerks off the anime. I ain't even talking about, like, this porn. Kev, if, don't start, because if that nigga I, start talking about anime, Kev, he going to draw you. I'm not. I'm just saying. I say nigga jerks off the anime. He going to fry him up. He going to fry Kev up. Ass right in. He fucking fry I don't fry give a up. fuck that. Emo. And he's a and he's a musician, oh, so make a song oh about you too. He can make make a song about me. One make point a song about me. How you drive around that listen your, <laughs> to your fucking souped up, <laughs> souped up ass Honda Accord with a loud muffler with your big how fat, fat this, pasty this, white this, bitch this, in the front this, seat with this, emo clothes on. Hey, bro, these emo anime like niggas is rich. The fuck is you talking about? Yeah, why? And why you trying to go in on them like that? <laughs> you just <laughs> don't like the love now. <laughs> yeah, I don't even yeah. care. All right, let's get to the topic, man. I'm sorry. Terrible, Kev. But you either way, point? I mean, my thing is, do you think that this actually happens? Is this something that you can see happen? In ways. In ways, yes. 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 Now, I know people probably want to see what the playbook is. And like I said, I don't want to sit here for nine minutes and listen to this over again. Uh, but you can go on his page and look at it. It's, it's Derek Branch. You can check it out. No, uh, okay. But <laughs> but there's but she goes into depth about how she pretty much is introduced to this woman, I guess his his girlfriend or whatever. And she does she implements uh tactics to slowly ruin their relationship and at the Name same one. time um well she she said that she she'll be talking to him about his girlfriend and and she'll she doesn't tell him much about herself so it gives her the chance when he tells her what she what he likes she tries to say that that's the same thing that she likes so so their interests will be similar um, and then what she does is she tries to find the flaws in the other woman, like, oh, she doesn't like that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Or, you know, she's very she's just a very agreeable woman when it comes to it. A yes woman. Um, and she's like there for him to talk about his problems. And she uses the time that he talks about his problems to, you know, she doesn't really bad mouth the girl, but she yeah she pretty much leads him astray or leads him to a different route 
which makes him not want to be here. So she's just sabotaging the relationship, basically. Yeah, somebody got you like that. Somebody got you like that, didn't you? Didn't you get it? You had a girl that uh, liked like to play games like you and shit like that. Oh Jesus Christ! No, I had somebody. That's a bad thing to say. Yeah, it is. I had somebody do that to me a very long time ago when I was uh, young and dumb. Yeah, she got she gassed me, man. You know, this is what happens. You start telling her about what's going on at, at the fucking crib. Yeah, she fucking takes advantage of that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, my girlfriend doesn't like to suck dick. What? Oh, in that case. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But she's piping you up like, yeah, I, you know. First you, of all, how, first you, of all, if you feel that comfortable to say some shit like that <laughs> to a different female <laughs> about the person that you're with. Did I not say yeah. I was you, young? I'm not talking about you dumb. in general. I'm just talking about like, well, yeah, you too. But yeah, a you. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, shaft. like, nigga, you are already out, on your way out the door. It ain't much work for her to do. You've already yeah. expressed to the woman that you not are being sexually fulfilled. So you're given the opportunity for her to know what you need sexually. That's the number one thing in a relationship for the most part. Well, sometimes you, know you gotta you can't get sometimes. What you need sexually, then everything else becomes a bother. Well, let's let's be clear. I think the tactics that she, the tactics that she is referring to are specifically for younger men because she looks like a baby and the younger men fall for it because y'all all young. We are all 40 or close to 40 right now. We see this shit from a mile away. So the only time we really giving up anything is when we want to give it up and when we know what the deal is because we've been around the block. That girl is speaking to young baby men who probably have the same. They probably, you know, they probably not Bro, interested listen. in being with anybody. So they are gonna tag you in, in, in their girlfriend. But go ahead. Yeah, you hit the bitch. I hit her with the Jedi mind trick. I knew she was fucking interested with me, so I just, you know, I gave her a step by step rule book to follow. And what I liked, and she just ate it all up. And when it was time to uh, go collect my fee, I wouldn't collected it. Let me ask you, uh, uh, fee collector, when you told her, if you ever had this conversation, and I'm I'm asking you a real question because I feel like people listening want to hear this, what in the conversation transpired for you to say, yeah, she won't be sucking my dick? How did y'all get there? And like, like go go step by step with that. You know, because it, but it was it wasn't like you said that shit within the first couple of days of conversating. Mm -hmm. It's like she. I can see the female like trying to pry into my relationship and get information about my current girl, my current girl at the time. And she just kept plug, you know, just kept fucking going away at it, chipping away at it. And I seen that she was chipping away at it. And I seen that the other female, you know, kind of liked me. So mm-hmm. as she was chipping away at the other female, finding her, you know, what I don't like about her, I say, you know what? I see that she wants to do something with me. So I'm get her. I'm going to give her a bit of information that I want. I mean, that she wants that benefit me. So one day we just sitting there talking. There she goes again. Wants to bring up my girl. Why I don't know. So I gave her the information. I said, "Yeah, man, this motherfucker. I can't believe it. Like, like the sex is cool, but this motherfucker don't like to give head." She's like, "What?" And I was like, "I oh, see. Look, <laughs> let me stop you right there, Kev. So back then, you when when she was bringing up your girlfriend. You never knew why. I knew why. I knew exactly why she was bringing up my girlfriend. I knew because she because wanted to be. Because the I knew that she wanted to be. Wanted to bring place. up my girl. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know, know why. why. Well, I knew why. I knew why she wanted to be in that place. She wanted to be in that place. So I, I seen it coming. Did you put fucking, her there? I ain't put her as my girlfriend, but I put her in the rotation of you know that's just my little Here side we go thing. With this rotation shit, yo. Uh, <laughs> Yo, all right. So another question is: Was she, um, was this like a new female that you just met, or was she mm-hmm. somebody who you've known for a long amount? Of, like she of was, life? she was a new, she was a new female. She wasn't necessarily a new female, but I never slept with her. But she was like, I met her a very long time ago, and then I wind up when I moved, getting reintroduced to her. So. She was, you know, new in that sense, like, hey, a long time no see. And, and, you know, she will always hang around and everything always be around. But it's like, you know, I just 
kind of like kept my distance because I was with somebody at the time. Like, so I was like, you know, whatever. Kept playing it the fuck off and whatever. And she, but like I said, she kept chip. She knew I had a girl, so she just kept chipping away at her. And when I found out she was interested, I said, I'll feed you information that How'd you, you want to hear. Just because she was just too fucking flirty and always hands on, touchy grabby, and asking too many fucking questions about. When and you talk to another female and they keep asking about your girlfriend or, or or saying if I was if they say this key state if I was your girl I would do X Y Z whatever X Y Z is it's like okay you you want to be in her place so yeah, that's a crazy I see statement. that it, but they they said that you never had a yeah, girl no. say if I was you your know girl. what I'm saying like yes I'm I'm agreeing like that then you know what it is when they say some shit like that because yeah. so I yeah. know what it was so I said you know what fuck it I'm gonna feed you information that will benefit me. That I'm going to take full advantage of. So I've, I, you know, I fed her the information. Now, now I don't have to. Now I don't have to. When I start messing with you, ask for something that I want, and you be hit me with the. Well, I don't know because you're really not my man. We skip that part. We skip that whole part because you want to be my girl. You want to be my girl. So I know that you're going to do that just so you can think you can be my girl. Huh? I, I said, I dare a bitch to say you're not my man. You're right. See ya. Yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> that's what they that's what they would say. Like Kev said when a girl read when they when we was you know reading the list, the girl would say, Well, you don't give him you don't give him the sex, you know, you make him leave his girl before you give him the sex. So she's sadly mistaken, by the way. Yeah, sadly mistaken. You want to <laughs> so you mistaken. exactly you want to be you want to be in this fucking spot. So I'm gonna feed you shit that benefits me. I'm you you showed your hands, you showed your yeah. hands. We playing chess now. Yeah. The fuck wrong with you. You think that nigga's just stupid, like uh, uh, uh I don't know what she's doing. No, I know exactly what you're doing. I'm doing it too. <laughs> I'm a cheater. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> I'm not shit either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, we're both playing the same bro. game. Like, let's get on the same level. So I'm gonna beat you there. Make them give <laughs> make them <laughs> don't give sex before bitch. I done I've been left her. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I broke up where I'll be fucking her and you just off, off the strength. Let me ask you a question. Where did you get? Because I, I heard Kev and Kev was talking about just him, him having a girl. It was probably early, you know, oh, in his life. Oh, no. And I'm like, it. yeah. And I'm like, where do we get this construct of being faithful in general? Because I'm one of them people that I've I've been faithful for a very long time. Like even when I was in, don't laugh at me, y'all. Even when I was in high school, if I had a girl, like an actual girlfriend, like I would only be fucking with that girl. And it felt wrong if you fuck with another girl, even though I kind of did. But where do we get this construct? Where did it come from? Steve and Laura? No, when you fuck over when you fuck over a couple of good or people that were actually yeah, when you fuck over a couple of good people that were actually good females. And as you later get older, you're early, later, bro. Come to my early. Like, where do we get you? Like, raised, you were raised a certain way to you. I mean, when you when you thought of a relationship and you were in a relationship, you looked at the relationships that you knew. You know what I mean? If you grew up in a household where your mother and your father were together, your grandparents were together, everybody who around you, <laughs> when it, the the marriage lasted, you know, through the ups and downs. When you thought about a relationship, that's what you thought about because that's what you knew, right? As you became older, you kind of jumped into a different phase. If that if that wasn't what you know, if you, you were unfaithful, I guess you you realized something different about yourself. I don't know, bro. I'm hey, sorry, I'm a firm believer in I'd rather nah. be single so I could do my thing than so I, just. I gotta apologize when I say this statement. Y'all like a lot of pussy or a little bit. No, I just let me let me see why. <laughs> I mean, you, ask, you, now. you asked me, you asked me a question. I felt but like I, Kevin gonna say some shit. I'm like about that, to say though. some fucked up shit. I'm about to say some fucked up shit. So I gotta like uh what's that thing you gotta disclaimer? Yeah, gotta hit a disclaimer. Sorry, pops, you know. Damn. It's common, it's it's common knowledge. I love you, dad. But you know, I seen my it's dad cheat on my common. mom when I was younger, and I was I was there when it happened, so I was like, oh, oh, must be the norm. Shit. <laughs> you ain't hold your mom down, yo. Fuck you, yo. I did. I got I got my ass whipped for it. But uh 
I'm telling my business, nigga. When I'm, but it's cool. It's no, I'm snitching on you, dad. Sorry. It's, for, it's forty years. It's for It's like you know. It's almost thirty something years ago. But I love my pops to death, and I love my mother. But so I was like, oh, that's what we do. But I did kind of have the knowledge that you should be faithful to your girl. But then yeah, you like, uh, it's something a little since. bit better. I'm faithful now. We be looking like, yeah, something a little better over there. Let me go see what this is talking about. Maybe I could, maybe I can upgrade. And then you realize, just like, hey, man, the, the the grass ain't always green on the other side, man. So I think that that comes with growth and being a man and, and, and maturing as a man. Like, yeah, I fucked over a couple of good people. Let me let this person fuck up their relationship. You give them their time. If they fuck it up, then do what you want to do at that point you're gone I, I know what we know now because what we know now is is basically reinforced of what we already thought honestly but earlier in our lives i can't say that i absolutely got it from my household i told y'all my sister is my age mm -hmm. so you know what i'm saying and my parents were married so yeah and and that's that's how that goes but what i'm saying is even earlier than that knowing i think it's society really and we're going to get back into the topic but i think it's society like you're it's pumped in from from birth all the shows that you watch from dinosaurs we watch dinosaurs and there was a a mom and a, and a dad and kids and you know there was no cheat like you know what i'm saying like there was oh that bitch cheated on dinosaurs that nigga used to say not the mama you remember the one episode that's, the that's nigga real true. That's not the true. real the real nigga dad showed up. He was like eight hundred feet tall or some shit. A big ass dino, big ass dinosaur. He was like the real dad of the baby. You don't remember that episode? Watch not, it. not the mama just means that I like the mom more than no, no, the no, dad, no. and you're not the. What are you talking about? No, it was an episode on dinosaurs where the baby's no. like real dad showed up. It was this big ass dinosaur that showed up to the you door. Have to pull that up, or you got to show I, me. No, that. dead ass. I, I seen the episode. That. I remember Go. you saying not the mama. He'd always hit the dad with some shit. Yeah. I'm about it, to look it at wasn't that. because he wasn't his real dad and the baby had knowledge of him not being his real dad. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Watch this. <laughs> like, come on, yo. And that wasn't even the point. The point is shows pump that shit into you. Let's okay. Fucking um Family Matters. Family How about matters. that? Like, what do you think? This thing yeah, crazy, I mean yo. <laughs> Family Matters. All of that shit. Like um Boy, Boy Meets, Meets World. World. All of it. Full house, step yeah. by step. Right there, you that you get what I'm saying. This nigga starts talking nigga about can. how the dinosaur. Nah, nah, cheated. nah. The mama was cheating on him with the 800 foot tall, 800 feet. 800 feet tall. You can only see the foot. You can only. See that's how. Foot. That's how I came when it, when the episode came. All you that's can see was the nigga leg. Right. <laughs> that's, crazy, man. that's how I know you're not right. He going He going Yo, Kev. Remember he did Guilty this shit. Last, remember he did this shit last week. He told. He told something that he definitely. It definitely wasn't true. And then we said, find it. And the niggas. The nigga says, searching for it. He's doing it again. Again. Yeah. Kev, it never happened. Guilty with the story. <laughs> <laughs> let, listen, yo. Let us know right now if us messing with you like this bothers you, because I don't want to bother you. But this shit is funny. Dre don't, don't care. Give a fuck. I do care. I do care. <laughs> I, I, I don't because it doesn't <laughs> bother me. This nigga's six three, and he's not a light guy. And I don't live there, so if I come up there and he just holding on to it, I don't want this nigga to fucking punch me. So oh, I'm not. Oh no, man, you would just homie, be in like, the chest. He wouldn't. Man, I wouldn't even hit. He's trained, y'all. I don't hit nobody. It just stop my heart. Like, it's it just like, my heart with one punch. <laughs> Why would I do that? I would just tell you like you're a piece of shit and walk away from you. You're my real like y'all my friends. You're like, a I don't piece think of shit. Like, no Dre, no alcohol for you. Uh, oh, he'll, I don't have your no, own. he'll punish like, you. I'm my real boy, so I can take that type of criticism for you. It is funny. <laughs> so and it's funny. So I, I was like, I can't get mad because it's just funny. It's it can't get but mad. Let's get back. Fuck all this shit. <laughs> we are we always realists. Fucking that ADHD kicks in every time on the show. Love so them, back man. to back to fucking women We're stealing uh yeah, women stealing other men. women men. Yeah. Um yo, if you can you on that topic, can you guys see yourself with a person who stole you from somebody else? Real shit. How long about you, term? Dre? How about you answer that long question? Long term. The thing about yeah. it is, would you really yeah, I can't like, would you would you really know if if you were doing it the way she was saying to do it. But she was going through God, the obstacles. Kind of she wanted to. She she had to claim. Um, then she is like deniability. Like she had nothing to do with anything. The only person who would know what would be going on would be her. So mm -hmm. as she's gradually bringing bringing this relation to relationship to an end, she's trying to play both sides. She's talking to him and saying this, and then she's 
remember she said get him to meet your girlfriend or yes. or get get him to introduce her to to each other you know right. what i mean so so they can be quote unquote friends you know what i mean I mean, that is conniving but i still can see that secret them. enemy i can right you Which know what i mean for another time i can see that actually lasting with me no you can't get between me and her and think that me and you won't like that's not gonna happen but if you listen because we all we all acting like our like the relationship that we're that's in question is a great relationship what if it isn't and that person comes in and starts start their shit and you don't know it then you're just going to see it as a relationship fizzling out and then you got this other bomb bitch that you know, you know, seemingly she sucks dick. She does all that. You don't know that she's going to pull the same shit when y'all get, you know, five oh, years in. But she's going to revert back to your girlfriend that you with now. Exactly. But I can still see it lasting. Maybe you like her more. Maybe you you grow with her in a different way because we hit different stages. And I'm going I'm to a, I'm a unserious us after this. Maybe you hit a part of your life that because because your life is in stages bro if you in your early yeah. 20s to, to to late 20s and you kind of switching girlfriends it's like whatever but when you start building your life and that's the girl that's with you when you're building your life she's attached to different shit you might get her pregnant and have a kid with her y'all might buy your first house together so at that point even though she pulling the same shit that the last one did you had a different stage in your life you like no nah, i think i'm ready to marry this one because Hey, I done did it already. You're willing to figure things out. Sounds like my relationship now. Yeah. Well, I think I think by that time you you've uh what? What? <laughs> I just, <laughs> just, snuck, just snuck that in there. Y'all niggas yeah. didn't even catch that. No, I caught it. My brain it's was like, nigga, come back for a second. Reel this in for him. What the fuck did you just say, plan? <laughs> I'm like, think about it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you wallet. Uh <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I feel like you, oh you, you grow as a person, so you start learning off of these these broken relationships that you've been through. So when you find somebody that you actually want to be with, if things aren't working well, you try to kind of figure things out. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. you've worked on communication, you've grown some emotional intelligence, you know what I mean? You kind of unless you're just stuck in your ways. If you stuck in your ways, then you always going to be in the same predicament over and over again. When you find somebody you really care about, then you try to figure that shit the fuck out. You know what I mean? Because you really don't want to lose that person. That's the one person you see yourself. You can't see yourself without. You know what I mean? So you're going to go through the ups and downs. So I agree. A younger mind state, younger people. But even as an older person, when you get out of a relationship, I feel like if I if if I'm out of out of a relationship that I've been in for long term and I felt like something was going on with the person I was just wish she either did be dirty or you know what I mean shit shit fell off in a negative way I'm not looking to jump into another relationship you have just succeeded it yourself to to be pretty much just giving me some pussy and be being cool because I just got out of a relationship shorty I'm not jumping right back into one you know what I'm saying? Now we, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to have a little fun. You know what I mean? I've done, been through all of this bullshit, all this negativity, and now, at that point, you probably feel like it's a weight off your back. You might be hurt a little bit, but you like, man, I ain't got to deal with that no more, though. Boom. Now, the, you know what I mean? The cat is completely away. The dog's about to go play. You know what I mean? And and you're gonna run the streets. For a little while, so that person has worked. You've done all this work for what? For you to become the new little side John, the jump off. That you know, what I mean, this dude. Oh, I know Shorty like me. I'm gonna just crashing that for a little bit, but no, I'm and not there. in a relationship. And then boom, when she realized, now what do you turn into when he don't want to be with you? You know what I'm saying? Another. What, what does it become at that point? You try again when he gets in another relationship. Another one like <laughs> she, she is a serial home wrecker. Serial home wrecker crazy. Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and call this episode? Serial. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, leave there it to go. your boy to find the right yeah. right there word to plug in. You leave it to Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I bet I bet not become single. I'm gonna stay single. Unlimited gaming time. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, the things that make us happy, little Yo, shit. It's kind of crazy. It's, I was just talking about that the other day with my homeboy, man. He was just like, because he's newly, he's newly that again. And Ooh. this nigga's getting everything together. He's like, yeah, man, I'll be at the gym. You know what I mean? At the work. You know what I mean? Got the Airbnb. Got this guy. <laughs> I'm like, work. 
Hey, you just he have... like, <laughs> yo, he like, yeah, man, I'm about to be. I can't really talk about it because you know what I mean. But yeah. you just getting shit. You just getting shit done. That's like, yeah, I don't yeah, gotta, dude. don't gotta come home and talk to nobody. <laughs> you got more time on your hands. That time you, you would normally yeah. use to appease that other half is not there. You know, she's not there. So I don't have to maybe go to the store for you. I've done all my shopping for me. I don't have to watch certain movies because we're watching them together or wait for you to watch this TV show or, you know what I mean? There is no communication between two people to make time valuable to each other. It's right. just my time now. Exactly. exactly. And I'm going to well, do what I want. Yep. Exactly. 12 hours of your day just opened up. I mean, so, hey, and you better use that time wisely. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Me? What would y'all do if y'all could? What would y'all do? Oh, what would you do? Dre? You always say no, 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 no. The reason why I do that, the reason why I do always, that is because you don't want this funnier. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell would you do, nigga? More Jim. More Jim. More Jim. Um, more Jim. Would you not just die? You live close to Miami. Would you not be going to Miami on a regular basis? His gym would be in Miami on I, the beach. I, <laughs> <laughs> He'd be out there doing hitting the pull up bars with the it would be near the there. News. No, seriously, it would it would be it would be down there, but not on there, not on the beach. But it would be down there. We're like, doing my tra traps. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, never strug struggling and all that shit. But I'm saying more gym because I did that before. Uh, when I was 20 something and, and that happened, like I was pulling two a days. And the reason why I say that is because you start to get more like, you you know, like you can kind of be a little bit more, uh, what do you call it? Um, disciplined. Cause it's only you. So when you're disciplined and you're like, all right, well, I ain't going to eat that. Right. You ain't got to go out to eat nowhere. Yeah. You understand? Cause you're a weirdo if you go out to eat by yourself anyway. <laughs> I mean. I mean, not always, not always, but you feel like it. So you're like, man, I ain't going, I, I'm going to stay in my shit. So you know based on where you go to eat, you might be, you might be in a, at a hot spot. Hungry you know niggas. I mean? Here we go. Hungry niggas. I'm just saying, I mean, <laughs> when you're single, when you're single, you'll do shit just because you can do shit. That's I true. will go out to eat on my own and see what's around. You know, you, go? you never know. I, man, I don't give a fuck. See, I'll turn it I like to eat at. You know what I'm saying? Would wherever, I'm, wherever I'm hungry for. Did you bring the homeworker with you? That's All fucking right. hilarious. I wouldn't. <laughs> technically, we wouldn't even oh, know right. that she would be the homewrecker the way she. She's wrecked many homes. She's uh, like she, she's like a ninja homewrecker. You know what I mean? She's out she's, there destroying relationships. But she made you love. single. So she made you single. Would you bring the homeworker? You yeah, like? You but know how? What? But how would you have known that she made you single? In your mind, it's complications. From the other side, not from her. She just she happens to be you. the shoulder that you, you were leaning on. No, she so, told you. Yo, I, this, was in my plan. this was in my plan the whole time. I plan for us to be together. How do you no, like me now? Is, if, a woman, if a woman told you that she that she's the one who destroyed your relationship, not only are you upset because she, I wouldn't be fucking with this crazy bitch at all at that point. You know what I mean? But then you realize, damn. I can't even go back to my old relationship because you can. the first thing she gonna about say it. is how could lie about what everything. Oh man, I, I don't know understand. Y'all don't. What don't you know she, she's the one. She's the one who put all the things in action to make the woman that you're with looks I've, bad. I've so when you so in my life, I've never seen her before. What are you talking about, baby? I only, <laughs> I, only, I only love you. I was tripping back then. They had me on some medication and just threw my whole shit off. Holy she but now I'm back. She planned to seize a doubt. I'm back. You and now, back. We get, yeah, now we can get everything right. I want to marry you now. To until her to her fucking a text message come through, you see fucking a that bitch, name that named bitch, Tony. Like that who bitch fuck is Tony. Me. Or or you got that other John who acting crazy mm -hmm. who doing that stalking shit. Now she. Now she any relationship you in is a rat for you now. She just everywhere you go. <laughs> you kill her. You gotta kill her. You're gonna kill yeah, her for real. Gotta, that one you gotta kill. Yeah, you gotta now, kill her or kidnap her. Now on it, you only have boyfriends. You gotta kill her or kidnap her. She's gonna yeah, be in the afterlife haunting you, destroying relationships. What's that movie where the boy moved in the crib and the shorty lived there? 
but she was dead. <laughs> I know that's probably Dre one of one of his favorite movies. He loves shit like that. What are you talking so, about? The movie where the dude had got an apartment, but uh the woman who died, she still was living in it. That was definitely that was my shit. I but told that you was, that was Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Yeah, and Reese Witherspoon, and that's my shit. I, what I say, Kev? Well, they I, fell in love at the I, end, so it doesn't matter. And she I wasn't know. dead. Oh no, but she was over there just fucking shit up for him. You know what I mean? Yo, she was cock blocking from beyond. That's, that's crazy. What, that's what that's what the bitch you kill would do. <laughs> when you try to get in a relationship, nah, I pray. I pray. So guess what? <laughs> yo, God, yo, God, yo, I'm gonna need you to handle this one for me, yo. Get this woman Condemn out of my her. life. Condemn like, this so, witch. No, so you listen. Ultimate sin, Dre. She's here forever. <laughs> Whatever. Threesomes for life. Oh, y'all ain't got nothing else to say. All right. No, I'm just saying threesomes for life with the with the with the, with the side stalker bitch. I don't with, the think dead, she... with the dead ghost bitch is what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, somebody took the balls. Feel some cold hands on my nuts. <laughs> bitch got the war now. She got warm feels, shits. You feel the wild even hellfire. <laughs> Yo, come back from hell. <laughs> <laughs> come back from come back when you visit <laughs> your home and, yeah. and come back and put your hands on my nuts. Dre out here. So, 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 so have you ever been have you ever been the corny nigga that tried to wreck somebody home? I'm like shit on the nigga, because we see a lot of them on the internet every day. No, I'm a I'm a stand-up nigga, I always have been. Yeah, I don't think I did no whack shit like that. Like, nigga. No, I'm just talking about the like, oh man, he, he I'm gonna stand you up. You could do so much better than him. Like, I've never been one of them types of dudes. Like, I'm I believe in the code, and that's why I don't fuck with niggas who don't believe in the code. If you a nigga who I believe in the code, yo, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna talk, I ain't gonna do that shit to a nigga. But if the woman is hell bent on trying to do something with me at you know, not now, obviously, but in that particular time, if she's hell bent on it. My thing is, I'm like, all right, well, okay, that's okay, it. Well, okay, okay, yeah. let's, let's do it. <laughs> you gonna give her some? If she's hell bent on it, like if she's just not okay. leaving me alone. Here, here's a scenario, Dre. Say you, you work, you, you go to the gym. If you meet, say you at the gym. Who told you I went to the gym? Who you been I talking to? <laughs> you nigga. So, so say you meet somebody. You know, you start. Be at the gym, you always, you know, there's always that one person that just is always, hey, you just wave. And she just comes over and starts, uh, you know, working in on your life right now. Mind you, she's fit because she's at the gym. You can't. My stiff arm game is through the roof, but I'll let you finish your shit. <laughs> Nigga, you in Florida. You're in the home of fake booties, fake lips, and, fake lips and tits. You would think so, but it's not necessarily no, that. It's not that bad. No, it's not necessarily that. It's motherfuckers who work on their body, and it's you know, it's, ooh, 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 it's, ooh, ooh, you meet a you meet like a like she's like she's a, like you meet a nice a nice nine at the gym. That's highly interested there. in you. a nine at the gym that's interested in you. Oh, and well, working no. on and working not. on you. Go ahead. I'm, I, no, I'm just saying, it gets, work, it gets to working on you and shit, and you like and, and y'all. And and what she's doing and what you're doing like a line like would you ever think like man maybe I wasn't meant to be with her maybe I'm supposed to be with her. would that ever thought cross your mind now at forty years old almost no. forty uh, no because my stiff arm game is fucking that's what it is it's incredible well, why, but why is your stiff arm game incredible? because it doesn't get that far see I'm a I'm a big believer in my wife just walked in so I'm I'm making all this stuff up anyway so. <laughs> <laughs> It would, it doesn't, this doesn't happen to me regardless, but if it does, I'm so professional with my shit that you'll never even get a chance to do whatever you, whatever you're saying, you'll never get a chance to do. Like if a woman is like, she'll never get a chance to take it from one point to another. You can ask me, I had a person ask me the other day, like, what exercise are you doing? I've never seen anybody do that shit before. And I had to think to myself, like, yo, am I doing some shit that's stupid or it's whatever? And I was like, Oh, and I told her it bitch is a push up. <laughs> I was doing <laughs> and I probably told her the wrong muscle movement, but I was like bent over and I was doing like you know how you do your show um flies, but I was doing my flies this way. You know what I'm saying? Please, and she was stop. confused. The point being is that she didn't say anything inappropriate, she just asked me why. But my point is it stops right there. 
even if she okay. would get inappropriate. Like, can you show me that? Nah, here, here, go to YouTube. Go watch that shit. Like, nah, bitch, I can't show you shit. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but, but why, like, why do you do, you think it's instinctively or do you just, you know, like, I know Eric is the one I'm supposed to be with. Well, it's instinctive because that's just, I feel like that's just the way, I don't know, it just comes naturally because I, I am married. So I don't mm. give, there is no space for that. But, but that, you don't think I'm bullshitting, but there is no space for anybody to come in and say no shit like that. I'm just saying. I'm just, I, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is it because you're married? And you think, okay, this is what married men supposed to do, or is it because, hey, Erica is who I'm supposed to be with in life. That's who I'm supposed to grow old and die with. Like, which one is it? What you say? He want to know, know if it's it's your morals that make you do that, or it's because you care about Erica so much that you wouldn't want to put yourself in a position to hurt both. Her. It's mm -hmm. both. It's an equal. It's equal, hundred percent of both. Okay. And if you and if you're and if you're married, you know what I mean. It's equal, hundred percent of both. Okay. okay. Yes. Listen, I can I, listen. Not fifty percent, nigga. That's two hundred percent. If you can count. What? Hey, listen. I can I can dig the answer, man. I can dig the answer. Listen. Is that your answer too? I, it's just I'm I, answer this in front of my wife, and she's calling me a liar and saying that I'm a piece of shit that wouldn't do. What did you just say? I'm gross. Right. No, that's not what I said. I said at one point in time, if somebody did that, then that's what you would do. But this is a for instance. This is that's a for instance, and that was a different. That you don't even get the context. No, you don't. You see what I'm saying? I gotta give me a look. Give me a studio so I could just be. Yo, go away. buy. Some. Go buy. Some. No, it's cool. We love no, to. We love when your wife comments <laughs> in the background. This shit is funny. It makes the podcast even better and realer. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Nah, for me, for me right now, just because I, I, I think I, I love her, but it's more loyalty. Like I'm loyal. I'm loyal to, to my. You know, loyalty my can be bought. I can't be bought though. <laughs> I'm a different kind of I'm a different kind of nigga, man. When it comes to loyalty, man, I like, feel like Trey said man. whatever. She in the room now. <laughs> man, he like he tight Later right on, now. They gonna be like, like, I'm gonna get tripped up too. Gonna be, okay. they gonna be laying in the bed. Gonna be tripped up. They nigga they tight right now. Nigga like fuck y'all niggas. Like I fuck everybody. Shut up. You ain't gonna have me the only nigga. Nigga, fuck out of here. Don't like get in trouble because you in trouble. I, think I got a real life troll. I got a troll. I live with yeah. a troll. <laughs> She would troll me every day for no yeah, reason dude. about any Aries, nigga. That's why you were the Aries. Aries is just, just no, assholes asshole. by nature. I'm an Aries. I know I'm an asshole by nature. It just so loyalty can be bought, Andre. <laughs> loyalty can be bought for my yeah, okay. nah, man. I'm not that type of nigga. So, same dog. situation. What you doing? What you're not married. Same situation, nigga. You gave me a whole dissertation about what would happen at the gym. Say you had what you what you like to, what you like to do again. You like to kick people in the like what you do? What you do? I'm not interested, dog. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna find we're gonna say what you do. What do you do? What do you like to do? Uh, nah, I, well, whatever I like to do, I'm not interested in other fucking females. Like man. to paint I, houses I, and shit. Yeah, spirit. I like no. to paint houses. What if you go to the house paint store and the girl at the house paint store? <laughs> I'm not, nah, I'm not what interested. What I'm, not, I'm not interested. Store. Listen, I fucked the, up a lot of the girl with a lot of good store. <laughs> Whatever. I fucked up a lot of good relationships. I'm just not interested. I know where this shit leads to. I like I've been I've been down that road before already. Like I said, I've been down that road. I've done it. I ain't the best person. I never claim to be this fucking stand on all boyfriend. Yeah, I cheated. I've been an ain't shit nigga. Like I'm not. I from experience, I'm not doing it no more. Just from experience, it's not fucking worth it. I'm telling you from experience. I just stick in a relationship I am. If it works out, it works out. It's great. But if I see it's doing something I don't like, I'm just out of this shit. I'm sorry. I'm just at that's the point of life I'm at. I'm just out of it. I'm not doing it. I tell like I'm at a point in stage in my life. Every when you're in a relationship, both parties should be happy. Mm -hmm. And so, if one party, one person makes the other other person so unhappy that they can't bear the relationship, get the fuck out. Then leave. You get what I'm saying? Get the fuck out. Enjoy life. Life is too short. Go enjoy it. You should be smiling. You should be happy that you're with the person you with. You shouldn't be fucking miserable. So if I get miserable in my relationship, I'm out. If I get you make me miserable, you make me stand at my door and look at my front door before I got to walk in this house and take a fucking deep sigh because I'm about to go to some bullshit. I'm just out.
Um, so you, that's let, done. Me, let me get this straight. So you get to that point. If you get to that point where you're looking at your front door and you like, oh, and there's a girl in back of you and she got a tool belt on, a saw in her hand, a, a chainsaw, the new joint too, a new joint. And she got all the tools of a person who puts on roofs or whatever the fuck you like to do. And she say, what a PlayStation controller also. No, I'm not dating her. You too much. You, like you, you looking at the door is what I'm saying. You looking at the no, door. No, I'm looking at no, you better be behind me. You better be the complete opposite. I take care of all the heavy lifting, cleaning the gutters, putting gutters on, doing roofs, all the shit y'all see me do. Well, she likes she wants she has your interest now. No, so, I no, I don't want nobody like that. I want the complete opposite. I want somebody to keep the house clean, cook, uh, do the clothes. Do, sexist. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm sexist. Motherfucker, I my wife don't cut the grass. I cut the grass. She never had since we lived never cut the grass or rake the fucking leaf ever. Ever. And will never ever do that. My my girl. Whatever. Wife, girl, girl, wife. You can girl. hear her condescending ass. Yeah, I can hear condescending you can hear ass the whole time. Fucking, listen, I can hear the whole fucking time. My girl yes. has never raked the fucking leaf or this is black hair. This is the bald one. Push push the lawnmower. She's not. The fuck? That's some sorry ass shit. You a sorry ass nigga if you got your girl outside in 100 degrees weather pushing a fucking lawnmower. You, who raised you, nigga? I'm not going to lie. My wife comes outside and she was like, I want to cut the grass. You better get in that she garden. This. She <laughs> get in that garden. This. I mean, our lawn isn't that big. It takes me, what, 25 minutes to cut the front and back. You Lucky know? bitch. But, but when I'm out there cutting, she was like, I want to take a turn. I guess she looks at it like her exercise. She'll do it for a little bit. She'll be like, all right, here, you can finish. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be like, all right. She likes doing don't shit. Let, don't let Kev see that shit. Don't let him drive past and see that shit. They're going to flip him. They're going to blow a gasket. Yeah. You got your beard cutting your lawn, nigga? But he I've know, never Leo. seen my... my Leo, I was Leo, raised by my grandparents. My Leo, grandfather. Right back on him. I, I, listen, man, my wife insists on doing something. I'm not going to be... No, no, you going to... Nah, listen. She going... If you know Leah, she's going to insist. Kev she likes to tell women what to do. She wants okay. to do. I don't like do tell women what the fuck. So I will take a seat. I will drink a little bit of ice water while I watch her for what ten minutes. Her cutting. Yeah. <laughs> After that, it's it's a wrap. You got your fill. All right. Boom. You know what I mean. But Listen. if Chade come out there and be like, "I want to cut the grass," no, get out the way. You ain't. Go, go, go. You ain't gonna stop. <laughs> you ain't gonna stop her. She gonna be like, move, get out the way. She got her, she got her goggles on. You know what I mean? Which I got to ride a lawnmower. I got to ride. Oh yeah, me. she definitely. She try to put the joint in gear. She try. No. You know what I mean, because once you start, you gonna finish. I'm, not you doing do this. I'll do the roof. Once you start, look, it changes after that. Cause she, yeah, she it changes. Start. I'm gonna tell you when she starts something, she definitely gonna finish it. You gonna start? You gonna finish that shit? Like you see? Like don't. This is my area. Cutting grass, raking leaves. Don't it's take like my job. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, but I'm gonna tell you what it does for a man. Like real shit, it it gives you energy to do. Uh, it gives you energy in life to do other shit hey, because. Kev, Kev, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That's why you go work out every day. It, it gives you energy. It does, but listen, I'm gonna tell you why. Other things in life. Well, let me, no, let me tell you why. It, it takes your fucking energy. No, it doesn't because humans, humans, we, come on, man. We were fucking bred to be outside. Like, think about the old, like how we was, how we've been for the past million years, fucking cutting yo, trees down. Yo, wait, along, wait, hold on. No, I want to keep joking. All on. right, man. Fuck <laughs> this shit. <laughs> wait, hold fuck on. This podcast is like over. You was, I feel like you was things. created with the previous software, nigga. They never upgraded your software. <laughs> <laughs> you got the 70s software. <laughs> you yo, yo, the baby boomer software, nigga. Declining the update. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah y'all niggas is questioning y'all sexuality. That's what the software y'all got updated with. Y'all got updated with twenty. Y'all got updated with twenty twenty three software. Y'all question your sexuality. Nigga, you are. Well, I want to be definitely. You from the seventies, dog? I want to want to be considered binary. Paul's in the building. Yo, you, don't, you don't think so? You don't think everything you say was just more from like a like like? I just seen my grandfather. I was raised by my grandparents. Like I seen that's what I seen my grandfather do. Like I seen my grandfather cut the grass. My grandfather had one arm. 
My gr- with one arm, I seen that nigga cut the grass, rake all the leaves in this yard that I'm raking leaves in. Nigga, see my pictures of how my leaves look. And I cut trees, and I cut trees down to limit the leaves. These trees were still in existence when this nigga was my grandfather was around. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just seeing I'm built different. That's what I seen happen. So that's who I based my life off of. I basically based my life off my grandfather. He was a fucking he lost his ability to work as a man, lost his arm. And and he said, regardless, if I lost that, I'm still going to make sure my wife, because she has to work, that life is simpler for her. And she's not going to touch my duties that I had as a man. So I just, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I just crazy. That I, I, the funniest thing I've ever seen, I know it's going straight off, off topic. I seen a nigga, a picture of a Dude changed the tire. I mean, the wife changed the tire because the husband didn't know how to change the tire. It's like, it's sad. My daughter was like, Dad, my tire caught a flat. My boyfriend didn't know how to change it. Like, what? What? Where did did you get this? Where did you get this PlayStation nigga from? I drove an hour to change my wife's tire. Well, my tire. On my car, and drove there with her car, and we switched cars, and I changed my tire, and then left. So yes, there are things that a man should do. However, that's another topic for the another jokes day. that I have for you. Don't <laughs> care about none of that shit. <laughs> they don't care about nothing you talk about right now. Rest in peace to all of our grandfathers, great men. But guess what? Them jokes don't care. Okay, okay. them jokes don't care. And yeah, we've been doing this for too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas y'all 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 we we cutting the grass. She got the fence. We done. we done. Yeah, nigga, crazy. We done. I'm just imagine Kev snapping out. Her I'm time. not snapping. Yeah. I'm walking. That's I'm walking cool. smooth away from the situation. I'm trying to come out here and cut this. Oh, no, he's like, grass. Yeah, cut the grass. You want to cut? This you want to cut the grass? Cut the grass. This nigga said cutting grass. New topic, definitely. This nigga said cutting the grass and changing the roof. And fucking cutting down trees gives you energy. It and does do more shit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it makes me feel like it makes me. It gives me energy. Gives me life. Your wife be all horny because you look tired, like a bro. man out there. Like it makes, it makes me feel good. I'm sorry, yo. That's what I got called bullshit on. You every time I talk to you, you tired. Because I, I'm tired now because I'm not doing the shit I used to do. <laughs> I hate you, yo. I'm tired now because I haven't been on the roof in a couple of I'm months. I'm sitting here playing Ain't PlayStation. No it's like I'm sitting on the couch. I get lethargic. I got some, yo, I get, yo, it feels good. I can be in my yard for hours. It just feels good. It feels like I accomplished something. I feel good about the day. I feel energized. Like I'm, I'm good. You can see me plenty of times. Yo, what you doing? I'm cutting a couple of trees now. You still coming out tonight? Yeah, I'll be out with y'all tonight. The fuck? I just feel I feel like I accomplished something. I just see niggas nowadays just like, yo, you got a, I mean, you got the money to hire uh somebody to do your lawn and shit. Yeah, nigga, that's me. Stuff. I say that. I, you are. You're right. <laughs> but let let but let a bill come up unexpectedly and your lawn looks like shit now for a week because Jorge can't come out there. I still got a I still got a low lawnmower. How did you, See how that like, works? Yeah. They can say that, they, can, they can think you sell your lawnmower to get other people to cut your lawn nah. for lawnmower money. <laughs> <laughs> the worst, the worst thing I ever got is a nigga texting me like, yo, um, well, man, how do you like my lawnmower won't start like yo what like how do you get your shit running or where's this go? I'm like niggas, what? Oh, he don't didn't call. have a grandfather. And uh, we we I had a grandpa. My grandpa showed me all that, by the way. So I'm with you with that. He showed me all that. Yeah, all man. That. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Shout out to uh my my boy's grand my boys, all my son's grandfather, especially Mr. Kev, man. That's my dog right there. He take he took care of my sons and shit, you know, even though me and my baby moms were split, but he always had my boys and shit taking them fishing and shit. Shout out to Mr. Kev. You know who you are. I always want to give you a shout out. Shout out to Mr. Kev. That's a good grandfather right Yo, there. Who, That's, huh? who Mr. Kev? That's Danielle's father. Get Kevin the fuck and, out of here. Another yeah. nigga named Kev? Yeah, his name is Kevin too. That's uh Kevin. Respect to him, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, little Kevin and Tavon's grandfather, man. Shout out to him, man. He always, like I said, he always took care of my boys, took them fishing, and always, 
you know what I mean, looked out for him in times I, you know what I mean, I wasn't there on shit like that. So respect to him, man. I got mad love for him and Miss Helen too, both of y'all. But I'm just shouting out a grandfather that was always good to my boy. Shout out to him. I'm so. with that. I thought you were talking about your dad, bro. That's why I was like, yo, calling nah. your dad Mr. Kev is crazy. <laughs> nah, that's nah, what nah, I thought. Nah, and I'm nah, like, nah, that's nah, weird. Nah. That's why I asked. I'm like, that's weird. Did something happen I don't know about? Because I don't fuck with that. Nah, nah. That's, 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 my... that's, that's, that's your pop, and that's Uncle Kev, nigga. Yeah, it's my dad. Like my dad's Kevin. I'm Kevin, and my son's grandfather is Kevin. That's so, crazy. so I just want to give so a shout is, out there. So is his. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm I just want to give a shout out to him and shit. And, and shout out to Cliff. He on here too. He all, he looked out for my son Ron Ron. Cliff crazy. and nigga, Cliff got the oldest name in history, but he was born in the '70s, so he got Clifford. <laughs> you was too, nigga. <laughs> Y'all got the same operating system. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, let's hey, see. Yo.